हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज इसरो क्वेश्चन पेपर फ्रॉम 2006 टू 16 स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल पार्ट 4 क्वेश्चन इज सरकमफेरेंशियल एंड लॉन्गिट्यूडिनल स्ट्रेस इन द सिलिंड्रिकल बॉयलर अंडर इंटरनल स्टीम प्रेशर आर एप्सिलॉन 1 एंड एप्सिलॉन 2 रेस्पेक्टिवली चेंज इन द वॉल्यूम of the boiler cylinder per unit volume. This question was already discussed in my previous video. Its answer is 2 into circumferential strain and longitudinal strain. Volumetric strain equal to 2 into circumferential strain and longitudinal strain. Next. An overhung beam of ABC of length 4 m 4 meter is supported at A and B 3 meter apart. It is loaded with UDL of 4 kN per meter along its entire length. Find the value of load P at C so that the reactions at A and B are equal and opposite. Here reaction at A and B are equal and opposite. So, summation of all loads along X. We should take R A plus R B plus P all are upward equal to total UDL total UDL is downward so R A in that question reactions at A and B are equal and opposite so R A R B cancel P equal to total UDL how much it will come 5 kN per meter into total distance 4 years, 20 kilonewton. So, C is the answer. Proof resilience may be defined as A. Work done in straining the material B. Maximum strain energy that can be stored in a material per unit volume C. Maximum strain energy that can be stored in a material under elastic condition. Maximum load which can be applied to a member. A is not possible. D is not possible. B. Maximum strain energy that can be stored in a material per unit volume. No. C is the answer. Maximum strain energy that can be stored in a material under elastic conditions. In that curve, load versus deflection. Here, proof resilience will come. Here, up to this point, the strain energy, maximum strain energy. Next, a bar of length L, area A, and Young's modulus E is subjected to a pulling force P. The strain energy stored in the bar, this one also already discussed. So maximum time questions are repeating. So if you solve all 10 years question, then definitely you will get 5 to 10 questions. Young's modulus is subjected to pulling for strain energy stored in the bar. Already discussed in my previous video. Both methods I told. delta or del L so 
so it will come p square l by 2 ae c is the answer next question was also repeated question already discussed in my previous video all all four i already gave all four conditions here the condition is one end is fixed other end is free hello this is l till buckle like this this side is also l. so effective length is 2l crippling load by square e i minimum by effective length square effective length is 2l so by square e i by 4l 4l square by square e i by 4l square a is the answer next question A Mohr circle reduces to a point when the body is subjected to this one also asked in IES so many times it was asked in ISRO also two three times this one asked. Mohr circle I draw. Here reduces to point sigma x equal to sigma y equal to sigma one sigma two all are same all four are same pure sure not possible pure sure it will come like yeah it will come like circle. Even extra stress means one side it will come. Equal and opposite axial stresses on two mutually perpendicular. Equal and opposite means both side it will come. Equal axial stresses are on two mutual perpendicular planes. Planes being free of shear. So this is not possible. This is also not possible. In no axial stresses, but both are not same. So equal and opposite, so not possible. Equal axial stresses are on two mutual perpendicular planes, being free of shear. For example. Let its value sigma tensile. Here also sigma sigma. So here all values will come sigma, and more circle will become point. One half length of fifty meter, fifty mm diameter steel rod is solid, while the other remaining half is hollow. Having a bore of 5 mm, the rod is subjected to equal and opposite torque at its end. If the maximum shear stress in solid portion is tau, the maximum shear stress in the hollow portion is dash. Yes. One half is solid, other half is. Maximum shear stress in solid portion. Shear stress depends on radius or distance from neutral axis. A torque equal and opposite torque from middle the distance. Tau is proportional to R. So both cases R is same. So maximum stress, shear stress also same. Tau is the answer. B is the answer. 
a bar of 20 mm die is tested in tension it is observed that when a load of 38 kN is applied the extension measured over a gauge length of 200 mm is 0.15 mm and contraction in diameter is 0.0036 mm find the Poison's ratio. So data given diameter is 20 mm. Load P equal to 38 kilonewton. Calculator not allowed. Gauge length or the initial length is this much extension del L 0.12 mm and contraction in diameter 0.0036 mm and the poison ratio yeah. we know poison ratio it's lateral strain to ratio of lateral strain and linear strain lateral strain is change in diameter by original diameter divided by linear change in length by original length so if you put the value how much we will get delta d by d into l by del l 0 0.0036 or 36 by 10,000 into l equal to 200 divided by d how much 20 into 0 0.1 to 12 by 100 if you do the calculation here 100 you multiply 12 36 by 10,000 so how much will get here 10 to 3 3 12 into 36 3 finally 3 by 10 is 0 0.3 so answer is B B is the answer A cantilever beam of rectangular cross section is subjected to load at free end if the depth of beam is doubled and load is halved. Deflection of the free end as compared to original will be how much? This question was also two times asked in ISRO. IS also this question was asked. Here cantilever beam. subjected to load at free end cross section B and depth is H so we know cantilever beam for point load at free end deflection is PLQ by 3A this formula is very very important so delta is proportional to 1 by I I for rectangular section BHQ by 12 so 
so delta is proportional to inverse bh q and delta is proportional to p here only depth is changing and load is changing so you take p by width not require only depth p by hq so we can write hq by p constant case 1 and case 2 delta 1 by h1 q by p1 equal to delta 2 by h2 q by p2 so delta 2 equal to delta 1 into delta 2 equal to p2 by p1 into h1 q by or h1 by h2 whole q now depth is double so h2 equal to 2h1 and load is half p2 equal to p1 by 2 so delta 1 into it's p1 by 2 p1 into load double no? h1 by 2h1 whole q p1 p1 cancel h1 h1 cancel delta 1 by 2 into 2q 8 so it's 16 so answer is delta 1 by 16 compared to original that two equal to delta 1 by 16 from option D is the answer thank you friends for watching my video if you like my video then subscribe it and subscribe with your friends thank you